don't want to speak too soon, but are interest rates about to go down? And if so, what moves should you be making in your finances? I've got that more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Uh, I, I don't want to jinx it. I don't really believe in that sort of stuff, but are, are interest rates about to come down? And, and if so, you know, what does that mean for your financial life? And what should you expect? What changes should you make? Now, you know, just recently, uh, inflation or the, the Fed's preferred inflation measure, which I, I don't believe any of that stuff, and, and it's, it's manipulated, but the inflation numbers are coming down. And at the same time, third quarter GDP numbers were revised higher, which I know a lot of government spending and, and you know, there's some uh, interesting circumstances with that too, but it suggests this very highly unlikely scenario of a soft landing where the Fed has basically been standing on the economy's throat and yet not putting it into recession. So handling inflation, not really, but not pushing us into a recession. And, and so the market, the market has, is now saying, hey, the Fed, there's no way they're gonna raise rates again. The, the market is actually is sort of priced in. There's no way they're raising rates again. In fact, they're starting to price in rate cuts as early as spring, as early as March even. So we'll see, and this changes by the day, uh, but Wall Street is sort of expecting, hey, rates are gonna start coming down. Now the Fed chairman, Jerome Powell, he, he's not saying that, he is saying the complete opposite. He's keeping a, what's called a hawkish tone, being more stern, saying, no, it is premature to assume that we're not gonna raise rates again. And, and yet, here's the thing, he sort of has to be that way. If he indicates in, in the slightest that rates are about to come down, it would make a lot of changes and could potentially throw the strategy off kilter. So Wall Street is sort of seeing through this as well. We'll see, no one knows the future, but Wall Street is seeing through those words saying, listen, you've got to maintain a hawkish tone and, and, and sound strong like you're fighting inflation. We, you know, we, we believe you and yet there's no way you're gonna raise interest rates. So all that said, if we do start seeing rates coming down, maybe in you know, the next quarter or, or, or six months, what should you be doing in your finances right now? Well, the first is if you're sitting on too much cash. And, and I'll tell you what that means is cash is likely, ju just, just like when rates were going up, your home equity line of credit or your, your loans, you saw rates rise instantly. And yet for your savings account or your money market, those rates did not go up instantly. And, and we would see uh, the opposite sort of happen on the way back down. Your savings account or your money market would likely start reducing the interest rate immediately. And therefore, if you're holding dollars, emergency fund or excess dollars, maybe part of your portfolio, if you're holding extra dollars in cash, know that the time may be coming where if that is part of your investment strategy, you might want to put it in a CD or, or put it in a six month CD, a 12 month CD. Or if you know these are dollars that you're not going to touch, you're not gonna need it, truly is part of your, your investment strategy, then putting it into an 18 month CD or even longer or a treasury, locking in an interest rate before they start declining. Now I gotta be very careful. I don't want you to mishear me. If you've just got your emergency funds sitting in cash and, and yeah, it's probably the right amount or maybe it's not quite the right amount. I, I, you, you don't have excess in there. Listen, that's gotta remain in cash. Your emergency fund needs to be completely liquid and therefore tying it up into a CD or locking it up into an interest rate that would you know, pay a higher rate for longer it, it is gonna mean that those emergency dollars aren't available to you if an emergency arises. So emergency fund, just know, I would encourage you, make sure you're getting the, right, the, the best interest rate right now and know that if rates start coming down, that will change. It's just if you have excess, if you have more cash than what you really need in that, um, in that you know, your emergency fund or maybe in cash in a money market account within your portfolio, consider at some point putting that into a, you know, locking in a high interest rate before rates go down. CD, treasury, maybe even a longer term bond, something like that.
If we do see rates start coming down, I think it'd be premature to start thinking, oh, there's going to be big relief in the housing market. Um, I also think it'd be premature to start thinking, well, I could refinance my mortgage if you got, if you, if you happen to buy a house at a 7% rate, something like that. That will probably take a little bit longer to occur. And, and honestly, guys, the housing market's going to be tricky if we see rates come down. If we do see rates come down and the economy is stable, then I think housing prices don't come down and they maybe either stay stable or they go up, believe it or not. But if we do see weakness in the economy and rates come down, we might see a lot more houses come on the market and that, you know, the, the supply and demand could move prices a little bit lower. But I think right now it's premature to fully anticipate what would happen in the housing market. We've got to see that play out. But I would say lowering, if the economy is stable, and companies' earnings expectations are stable or don't decline further, and we see interest rates coming down, it's gotta be good news for stocks. Gotta be good news for stocks. We've seen, obviously, an enormous rally in, in November. I wouldn't say, oh no, the, you know, to the moon or whatever people were saying with, uh, with meme stocks a few years ago, but I would at least say the rally has some legs to run if we do see interest rates coming down. We need to be watchful for a head fake, but, uh, but, but this should be a favorable environment for stocks. Yes, the, the S&P 500 are large cap US, but actually areas that are weaker or, or uh, undervalued, which would be small caps, which might be international as well if we see more uh, rate cutting across the globe. So all that to say should be a, a good climate for stocks. Make sure you're taking the right level of risk and have the right strategies. And then lastly, if we do see interest rates coming down and and again, the markets move in advance. The markets are forward looking. They are anticipating what's happening, not betting, they're anticipating. So they are, uh, so they're gonna move before the economy. And we've already started to see this next one. And that is if interest rates do come down without the economy collapsing, bonds should do okay as well. And, and I hesitate even saying that because bonds are supposed to be this safe, steady, stable investment, watching the grass grow, watching the paint dry. And they have been anything but that for the past three years. It's been up until just recently, the worst three year stretch in bonds, I believe ever. And, um, and when, you're, when you're relying on bonds for low risk and low volatility, it's been just an awful excruciating time. And therefore you might have fewer bonds. You might have no bonds at all. And maybe you need some. And if interest rates come down, that might be, or might right before that, could be the time to re-enter the bond market. We could see more normalcy in the bond market because interest rates and bond values move in a teeter-totter. So as we saw interest rates go up, we saw bond values decline rapidly, right? And the opposite would be true as well. If interest rates start coming down, we should start seeing bond values, bond prices uh, get better or rebound. And therefore, interest rates coming down should be should be a better climate for bonds which a thankful relief after what we've seen so those are just a few of the implications or things that you could consider doing with your finances if we are about to see rates come down or at least plateau work with your certified financial planner see which of those makes sense to implement and based on your financial situation your cash situation, cash flow situation, debt or, or, or uh, liabilities that you have talk about what other things might make sense for you to do uh, in, in this interest rate environment where things are high and possibly could be getting lower. So work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, corehorn.com. That's corehorn with K. Wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well. Or give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.